In this video, we'll look at whether calcium phosphate, that's Ca3PO42, is ionic or covalent. Short answer is that it's an ionic compound, but it does have covalent bonds within this phosphate ion. When we look at the periodic table, calcium, that's a metal. And then phosphorus right here is a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that is a nonmetal as well. So when we have a metal bonded to nonmetals, that is going to be ionic. It's a bond between the calcium and this phosphate ion, that's ionic. Let's take a look at the charge though. With ionic compounds, we should consider charge. So calcium, that's in group two right here, that'll have a two plus ionic charge. And the phosphate ion, PO4, that has a three minus charge. That's on the entire phosphate ion. So when we talk about a phosphate ion, it's a polyatomic ion, and the phosphorus and the oxygen atoms, they're bonded together pretty tightly. So it stays together, has a three minus charge. So when you look at it, three times two plus, that's six plus. And then over here, two times three minus, that's six minus. So these two ions, they balance each other out. We have a net charge that's zero. And because we have a positive and a negative, they're attracted to each other. Since the ions are attracted, it's an ionic bond. Let's talk briefly, though, about the phosphate ion. So we have an ionic bond between the calcium and the phosphate. But the phosphate itself, phosphorus, we said that was a nonmetal, and oxygen is also a nonmetal. So we have these two nonmetals here, and when we have those together, that is a covalent bond, also called molecular. So the bond between the phosphorus and the oxygens in the phosphate ion, that's covalent. But the bond between the calcium ions here and the phosphate ions, that is ionic. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.